Mr. Fan, this is Mega Boat, aka Chonu Migu Sarang. I'm new! And I. And I made a video before called How I've Changed in Korea. And after I filmed that video, I thought of like 10,000 more things that I've changed. <laughs> Let's get into some ways I've changed in Korea, AKA ways that you might change in Korea when you come here. Let's go. So the first one is eating scalding hot foods. When you get a soup in Korea, it's always bubbling, boiling hot in a hot pot because it just has to be hot. Most foods you get in Korea are scalding hot, but you get used to it. Like at first, I couldn't eat it. I would get the soup and then blow it, but then nobody else was blowing it. But since I've been here for three years now, I just eat it hot. And you know what? I've never gotten a soup that wasn't hot until I went back to America last year. And the soup like wasn't boiling to me. It felt cool. And I remember like my family members were like, oh, this is a bit hot. And I was like, no, this is actually too cold. Like I need my boiling hot soup. If it's not scalding hot, it ain't for me. So the next thing I do is I repeat what people said. Because in Korean, even when you hear them, you always repeat what somebody said. So if I'm like, ah, oh, where do you live? It's like, 어디 살아요? 아, 상암동에서 살아요. 아, 상암동. You just, <laughs> you just, you repeat what they said. So like, Carson does it too. Even when we're talking in English, if she says something like, oh, where was that? Oh, it was behind the cabinet. Oh, it was behind the cabinet. I don't know, you just like repeat what people said and you have to be like, ah, like before, and you have to, ah, 상암동, like, ah, you know, like this. <laughs> I don't know, if you speak Korean a lot, you'll probably start doing that too. It doesn't matter what they say, even when people say your name. Oh, cause what's your name? Oh, I'm Megan. Oh, I'm Megan. Like you just, Repeat, you know. Anyway, you're gonna be repeating what people say if you don't assimilate it. So the next one is talking to myself. I've never been the person to talk to myself out loud, like when I'm thinking. But like in Korea, people are walking by and everybody's talking to themselves. So there's certain things I say out loud to myself, but always only in Korean, because I've never talked out loud to myself in English. Like if I'm walking around, I would never be like, what was the password again? What should I say? What should I call it? I would never talk to myself because it wasn't my habit. But I get so used to doing it in Korean, so there's some things that I always say. When I'm thinking of a word to say, whether in Korean or English, but I can't think of it, then I always say, I never say that in my mind. It's always out. I don't know. I don't know. But especially because most of my friends are young people and young people in Korea, they say so much. Like that. So then I'll be like sitting there and I'm like trying to figure out something and then suddenly I'm like Just like out loud. The older people in Korea, they're constantly talking to themselves and they're walking by on the subway. She's like Or just like whatever, they're trying to find something. And then sometimes you might pick it up and you might start talking to yourself about certain things. I know I surely have. So, yeah. The next one is when people ask me how old I am, instead of saying the number, I just say the year. So, because Korean age is different, I made a video on Korean age. The link will be somewhere about Korean age. But it's different, it's usually more than your age in your regular country. So sometimes I get confused. I don't even, when I'm talking to American people, I, I, don't, I honestly don't know if I'm 25, 26, or 27. I honestly was so confused. I didn't even remember my age. So I just tell people what year I was born. And they're like, ah, Then they go like this and calculate. Ah, oh, you're 27 in Korean age. 27, I'm like, I don't like Korean age because I am not 27. Well, my birthday passed, so now I'm 26. But when I was 25, I surely did not like to be called 27, okay? No, it's just no. Embrace it, Megan, embrace it, okay. And the next thing that you might start doing, if, especially if you speak Korean and you have lots of Korean friends, etc., is you might start following the hierarchy, like not the bad hierarchy, but like if the older person in the group, especially if you're being called Nuna or Anni, then you feel a sense of responsibility to take care of the group. And I realized that with Carson, because I think Carson is like five years younger than me or something. Carson, what year are you again? 95? 95? Dang. I'm six years older than Carson. And so even though Carson speaks fluent Korean, whenever we go somewhere, did you notice this too? I always just like talk for us and like order for us or whatever for us. 
because I don't know, it's just like a habit. When you're the oldest person in the group, then you're the one that goes and like, even when I'm with Korean people who are younger, then I'm always the one who like talks for us or orders for us when we go out somewhere. And I don't know, I just realized that the other day. I was like, why am I speaking for Carson? Because Carson speaks fluent Korean. She's been in Korea longer than me. I'm sure her Korean is even better than mine. Why am I talking for her? Because I am on me. On me, uh, on me, on me. <laughs> I've become very impatient. Not like in a bad way, like with people, but like waiting for stuff. In Korea, you never have to wait more than, the longest you wait for a subway in Seoul is like not eight minutes. It's the longest I've ever had to wait for a subway in Seoul. Outside of Seoul, obviously, you have to wait longer, but in Seoul, eight minutes. Average three to four minutes tops that you have to wait for the subway. Same thing in my area, for the bus, you never have to wait more than like eight minutes for the bus either. So when the bus or something doesn't happen in time, I'm like, it feels like an eternity because you get so used to everything happening quickly. Even when you go to a restaurant, you don't have to wait very long because most restaurants in Korea are very specialized. Like we make jjigae. So it literally, they just heat up the hot pot. It takes all of 10 seconds and bring you out the jjigae, right? So you never have to wait more than like three or four minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this video of other ways I realized I've changed. I think in the last video I was like, I'll probably think of 50,000 more ways that I've changed and I'll probably make a video about it later. Anyway, so if I think of more as years goes on, ways that I've changed in Korea, I'll probably continue to make videos of how you could change in Korea or how you might be changed in Korea. I thought you, I hope the I hope you thought it was interesting. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page or just down below. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and I will see ya.